Hey there, everyone. I'm around the wheel, and you're watching Moby Wims, and we're seven levels away. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yes, seven levels down left to go before we beat Flapdoodle and move on to territory that is entirely unexplored by all of us, even myself, except for Bronco. So, Flapdoodle, we finished Convergence yesterday was where we stopped. Now we're on No Blue Thing. No blue thing is getting to the exit without me personally approving it first. 50 lemmings, 100% to be saved. The last time we played this level, when it was just 10 builders and we had to go bump, bump, I believe we also had to save 100% then, too. But now they're coming out at a rate of 99, and that's and we have significantly less to work with now. Let's see. Okay. So we have significantly less to work with. So I think we're going to be working with this side of the level over here maybe because one builder where does the other builder work out let's go ahead let's send a climber to do the work first mm, where can we where can we chop through okay and we got five minutes we got plenty of time to work I think I'm seeing something already that might work uh, Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make a guy a climber. We'll wait for everybody to come out before we assign another. Okay, well, I did manage to make an athlete on the first ghost. So that's good because he would definitely, if he had to go over the Zoltar booth here, he would definitely go curse splitter splat. Uh, maybe we should make him the climber, or maybe we should see what's going on over here first. So he goes here and he, um, um. Actually, we want, might, might want to send a guy really closely behind him, or we might want to not do it. Actually, you know what? We've got time to actually... Huh. Let's... Let's send a guy after him, actually. Let's send a guy really closely behind him. That way, this guy can go through, and he can... Okay, he's going to go up and through and over, and he's going to go up through this little crack. And then he's going to climb up here, and I don't... Hopefully he will not just jump... It looks like a thin piece of land that he could jump through. Nope, he hits his head. Okay, good. That's kind of what I was banking on. Okay, so he's going to now go... Huh. Let's see... Maybe I should have sent him really closely, actually. Because uh, now I'm kind of regretting this. I think this might be a little bit off pace here. Okay, he's floating down. And I'm going to need... Oh, no, he can't... Uh... Oh, no, I used the bash from the... Oh, no, I was supposed to dig right there. Bashing is for the wall. Oh, man. Oh, I thought too hard about this. Doggone it. But I do want to send them closer together next time, I think. Uh, yeah, start from scratch, but I think I'm on the right track. Okay, first guy's going to be a climber, and then this other random guy is going to be a climber. They're pretty close. They're pretty close. They're brothers in arms, but, okay, I hope I... Okay, yes, there's an athlete in the mix. So, that was a bit risky, but it was worth it, I think. Okay, he's going to be climbing the wall, and then someone's going to follow right on his tail. Oh, yes, okay, that's a good... That's good. That's a good distance behind, I think. Okay, so we want him now to dig, um, perhaps right here on this little flat piece of land is going to be the most appropriate point. He's going to want to dig right there, and then that guy, the guy coming right behind him, uh, can build over it. Um, uh, let's give him time, let's give him space to be able to build over that. Like, he can get right up here. Okay, he's going to build a full bridge. Okay, and then he's going to bash through here. There's a blocker and a bomber. I don't think we're supposed to use that, though. Okay, most of them are turning... Uh, actually, only a few of them have turned around at this point, I think. Okay, he's going to... Ah, uh, yeah, he's going to finish up with plenty of time. Everybody's... Oh, good, everybody's turning around anyway. So that gives him... That gives him plenty of time to work. So he's going to come from here, yes, and then everything... They can pass through the stick part. Of the vaporizer trap. That's a very scary trap. It makes a loud noise when you go through it. And it always makes my heart stop every time I hear it. 
So, yeah, I think we managed that the way we were supposed to. Very good. Everybody go on around. Bring it around town. You earned this happy ending. Good for you guys. All right. Jump in there. Jump in there. Get jumping in. Got to save you, too. Got to wait on you. I'm willing to wait for you today. You got a whole, a whole three minutes to walk to an exit that's probably 20 feet away in game measurements. Who can even tell? That was just a... That was a complete ass pull right there. I can admit to when I pull things out of my ass, usually. Let's move on. Level 24. We're making a good Constructus Interruptus. Oh, 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 oh how risque. 30 women's got to save all of them, and we have 10 minutes to do it. That's not really a 10-minute walk, but I have a feeling it might be kind of complicated to construct. 22 bridges and one floater. Oh, really, eh? Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Hmm, indeed. Ooh, how do we keep them... How do we keep them in here? Uh, I have an I... I have a few ideas. First of all, we need to set the release rate to 90. Uh, because we need to make a wall bridge back here. One of those I have a cunning plan kind of things. And then we'll bring the release rate back down to minimum. Okay, build, build, and build. Okay, that should be a thick enough for wall for them not to pass through. Okay, now we need to do something entirely different. They need to kind of build on the stairs, I think. So, hmm, okay. Maybe build on the stairs so that they can't really get up past that. I'm going to let one guy pass, of course, but okay. Okay, we need to make sure nobody can get up past that. Okay, they're still walking up. They're still walking up there. Oh, my. Oh, gosh. Oh, gravy. Oh, gravy. That's not good. Okay, let's... Uh... Okay, this is getting... Okay, this is getting a little scary for my... Okay. They need to be able to not move on beyond that. Okay, yes, they're trapped in now. I don't know that I have enough builders, really, to finish a job that's going to require... Okay, well, let's just run with it for now. Oh, gosh, I did not give myself very many spare footers, but at least they're all hemmed in. We can kind of... And I had got to have one to build at the end there. Okay, this is going to take one, two, three more, and this is going to take, like, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think I gave myself enough. I don't think I gave myself enough leeway there. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, hmm. This is going to be tougher than I thought. We only have builders to stop everything from happening, though, which r really isn't a type of thing you normally encounter. Usually you have at least something else to help you with the job, but... That's just, ugh, that's ugly. That, oh, I have seven builders left. Okay, I kind of miscalculated. Well, maybe we can still pull this out then. Okay, yes, and he made it there with two bridges. That's perfect. So he needs to be the floater then. He needs to be the floater and go straight from here. That might be one, two, three, four, five, six, actually. Um. Huh. Okay, that's one, two, three. Okay, please make it to the wall. Please tell me you can make it to the wall from there. Please, good sir. Do not have me waste a bridge. Inve You're going to have me waste a bridge. You son of a biscuit eater. Actually, that... E yeah. And then if I come from here, that's the same amount of bridges. Okay, I think that would be enough to mitigate splat height if I hadn't used so many over here. Okay, yeah, if I just keep going like this, yeah, I don't have enough to save them because I can't make one. I used one too many bridges over here, I think. I didn't let my... I didn't let them... Uh, oh, well, I don't guess it really matters. Yeah, I think I kind of screwed the pooch on this one. Let me see if I could have done it with just one more builder, though. If I could have built them out with one more guy... There's just there's just a too much of a butter slick on this bridge over here. Oh, absolutely, I could have done that. Oh, yeah, if I only had one more builder, yeah, absolutely, I would have nailed that. And that's definitely an easy fall height. 
Oh my gosh, it just came down to not doing this correctly. Oh, uh, <laughs> why didn't I have 23 builders? <laughs> What's the difference between 22 and 23 when you get right down to it, really? It's all pretty arbitrary. Oh, well, back to the drawing board. Okay, coming into the final stretch with the floater. I did do one thing differently this time, and that was that I left the release rate at 5 for the entire duration. And that made it not only easier to make sure this lined up right, but also it made me have to use less bridges to keep them trapped in because there were fewer guys coming up the way here trying to get up and over. In fact, it only took two bridges to make a barrier that they could get past. So yeah, I ended up wasting a lot of a lot of stuff last time. Quite frankly, kind of embarrassing that I didn't just think to leave the release rate at the nice at the nice rate that the that the man left for me. Okay, so now we're going to go to here and that should be the last bridge we need. And now we should have a whopping four bridges left over as opposed to being down one last time. I think we can go ahead and save everybody at this point. Make sure everything goes correctly. He does not climb over here, so we have more than enough bridges. Let's see. Okay. He floats down, so that's not really indicative of anything. We can't break out the party favors just yet. That should be safe, though. And I believe that's a totally safe fall. Why else would it be? Like, if this isn't a safe fall... Yeah, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, there's no way to make this not a safe fall if I... If I already have to save them going this way. Because once I save them going this way, I have to save them going this way. Or else risk building them into a rope trap. There's no way... Oh yeah, that exit is totally blocked off from all sides. So yeah, that was going to have to be it. Also, one thing I didn't mention earlier was I like the use of the exit torches on the wall. There's, so there are probably exits sitting in here. But we can't like bash to get through to them and end up breaking the level. So that's kind of clever. The torch has got to be used just because... Well, no, you could have just used the top half of the door also. The door is actually split into two halves in the editor, if I recall correctly, the way things are set up. I think that's right. Let's move on, though. Let's not think about it too much. Born Under Punches. Ho, <laughs> ho, A Talking Heads reference. Very nice. That's very heady and very talky. I could talky all day long about the heads. They're a great band. 50 lemmings got to save 80%. Why for do we have to save 80%? Oh, because we only have bombers to solve everything. We only have bombers to solve all our woes. Well, maybe if we... Oh, and the release rate has been lowered a little bit. Well, this might just be a matter of rhythm. Okay, so let's go ahead. If I start a guy coming from the wall back here, and then I go a little bit ahead... Three, two, one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys are dying. Guys are dying. I didn't think about that. Okay, so maybe I would want to come from... Where do I want to go to go pop, pop? Um, honestly, didn't think too hard about this. Uh, whoo, whoops. Okay, but that's promising the way that happens. Maybe I want to raise it to 99. Maybe that would help out significantly actually he's about to take a bubble bath oh snap and then if i get a guy going from more or less the same place yeah but they'd have to be really tightly close to each other maybe it's safer to come from this way but it's nice to know that they go through the floor in one bomber that's super effective um how do i how do i do this to Okay, I need to start from the other end, I think. Okay, we should probably start from... Let's send a walking bomber from here. Okay, let's go from this way. Two, one, and then he has to walk a lot farther ahead to avoid the bubble bath. Okay, and then let's get him kind of close from there. Two... Oh, no, not far enough out. Oh, shoot. Okay, but I kind of had the right thing going there. Oh, yes, I think I want to start from this end, definitely. Okay, I want to start from here. In fact, why don't we just have him go like that? And I want to kind of center. I hate how the level starts, like, all left justified over here. 
Center it, man. Centrifuge. There we go. Um, uh, when to not go over the bubble bath. I think that's a good spot. Let's try from... Okay, yes. Three, two, one. Okay, that should be perfect. And now he can basically bomb wherever he wants. Five, four, three, two... No, he can't. He can't bomb wherever he wants. Now he's going to send his friends up into the bubble bath. They're just going to walk straight up into it, aren't they? Son of a gun. Golly, that takes some timing. Not quite as hard as look before you leap, but definitely a little tougher than something like maybe... Maybe, uh, I don't know, Bomboozle. We can afford to replay it now, though. Yeah, more like there. Okay, now we can pump the release rate up to 99. There we go. The heat goes on for sure, but I'm about to shut it off. That's all the heat I can stand for today, I think. So, we're going to move on next time. How many levels we got left? This is level 25. We got five levels left of Flapdoodle. That might be a bit much to handle in one go next time, but I can definitely taste it. I can definitely taste the end of it coming. And then we move on into uncharted territory, stuff that even I have yet to play. So we'll see how much it gets turned up. These are like the tricky levels of this particular pack. And soon we're going to be moving on to the taxingness of Bruhahaha. <laughs> And then from there on, Heinous and Oh No More Levels, uh, which looks like it might be akin to the extra rating from Pima Limbs. So we've still got quite a bit to explore here. Still almost 100 levels to conquer, and I'm looking forward to them. I'll see you guys next time for level 26 of Flapdoodle. And the end of the tunnel on this particular difficulty rating is in sight. Oh, ho, ho, yes it is.